Okay, it's Sunday morning, 1972, Winnebago Brave remodel. Um, I would like a more open floor plan, so I'm going to remove the dinette, especially this wall here. It's already a small camper in it. It's not claustrophobic, but it's close. And even to remodel in here, I need more working room. Um, I think it'll be nice. So Sunday morning, we're gonna get rid of this. And up above is the bunk. I hung some work lights. I need a lot of light. I just like it for the remodel. Um, I want to remove the bunk. Since I've left it down for a day now, I've hit my head on it like three times, and that's almost good enough reason. Um, I'm going to lose some storage as I do some work in the back, so I'd like to get that out, and I'm going to try to regain that storage that I lose. Uh, I'm going to try to update this video and put two together to show you what's happened over today if I can figure out how to do that and that's that's it for now 1972 Winnebago Brave Restoration Sunday part two this is Scruffy he is not working very hard um, started Sunday morning now it's Sunday night I got rid of the bunk uh, makes me happy now now there's still quite a bit of shelf left and I'll put a fold up front on there the hinge is still there from the from the bunk and that'll hold everything in place so I, that just came up with that today and that that'll work pretty good i think uh didn't do anything with the bathroom but dinette is gone uh carpet is gone that's all glue that you can see there for the carpet pad they uh obviously weren't going for nice work but uh everything beyond the kitchenette is gone that will get probably another uh, 24 inches of countertop stainless steel because I have it and then underneath will be a fridge and just an electric fridge and I, I saved the cushions I won't be using most of them but I, I brought those all in uh, just to, for color matching and, and maybe utilize some pieces off of the vinyl that was good to create something maybe a couple little cushions or something like that but yeah, yeah, it's a lot more open. It's nice to walk around in here now. And so yeah, for day one of the restoration project, I would say the demo went pretty smooth. Um, the cabinets, if you're going to be doing this, they're not designed to come apart or come out because, of course, you don't want them moving. Um, and they get a lot of rocking and rolling when you're on the road, so they need to be really secured. So they were kind of tough. You, you kind of have to take them apart piece by piece and but overall if you just see basic tools is what I have I have my basic tool kit with a grinder helped a lot because some of the nuts were uh, some of the stuff that was bolted everything was it was rusting up so just cutting them off was easier and yeah yeah that's it for that's it for day one me and the dog are gonna go inside now enjoy your evening thanks for listening